Did you know that WhatsApp has over 2 billion active users and has become one of the most popular messaging apps in the world? Businesses of all shapes and sizes can take advantage of WhatsApp to enhance communication with prospects and customers by leveraging the WhatsApp business application. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this WhatsApp business tutorial for beginners, I'm going to walk you through how you can use all the extensive features that the WhatsApp business app has to offer businesses in 2022. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this WhatsApp business tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll start dated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and launch into the WhatsApp business app. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the WhatsApp business application onto iOS or Android, go ahead and do that now. Then simply locate the app and open the application. Now, if it's your first time getting started with WhatsApp business, then you will need to add your business name and other basic details like the category of your business, as well as a brief description about your business. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, so I can navigate through all the impressive features that WhatsApp business has to offer, I'm going to use this test account. Now, you'll notice that the regular WhatsApp app is very similar to WhatsApp business. There are only a handful of additional features that are built to benefit your business. Now, it's important to note that you can have the regular WhatsApp as well as WhatsApp for business on your phone. However, in saying that, you can only use one phone number for each app. So if you have a phone that allows you to use dual SIMs, then what you can do is use your personal number for the regular WhatsApp and then your business number for WhatsApp business. Okay, so when you first arrive inside WhatsApp business, you'll notice that you have access to chats, status, and then next to status, we have calls. Again, this is the same with the regular WhatsApp application. Now, if we navigate over to chats, and if we select and hold one of the contacts, you'll see that we have these options up above. Now, as you can see, we first have the option to label this contact. We can label this chat, this contact, as a new customer, new order, pending payment, paid, order complete, and we can also create a new label. So for example, I'm gonna click new customer and then click save. Now, if I click and hold the same chat, I can also pin the chat, delete the chat, and I can mute this chat if I like. I can also click on the three dots and I can archive chat, add chat to shortcut, view contact, and mark as unread. So as you can see, those are a few additional options that you'll be able to access within WhatsApp business. Now, if I click out of this contact, what we can also do is navigate over to status. This is where we can create photos, videos, or text statuses that last 24 hours. This is for you to update your contacts with what's going on in your business. It might be a deal. For example, if you had a Friday deal, you could upload a deal for 24 hours that your contacts can view and become aware of. All you need to do is simply navigate down and click my status. And you can go ahead and take a photo or choose a photo. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this. And we can also navigate down to photo and add a photo. Or we can create text by clicking this text icon down below. And next to status, we have calls. This is where we can manage all our calls with our contacts. Okay, now if we navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on the three dots. Within WhatsApp business, you have access to business tools. Go ahead and click on business tools. And this is where we can set up our business profile. First, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on business profile. This is where you can update information about your business. You can add an image up above. You can also come down and add your business name or customize your business name. You can add other business information, description, business address, business hours, email, your website, 
and you can also add an additional website. So what you want to do is take the time to go through all this business information, click on the pencil icon on the right hand side and make sure all your business information is correct. Now below add another website we have products. If we click here we can manage our categories and the products that we offer to our clients and we're going to dive more into this shortly. Below products we have add Facebook or Instagram if we click here we have the option to add WhatsApp to our Facebook business page and we can also connect WhatsApp to our Instagram profile. By connecting WhatsApp business with your Facebook business page and Instagram profile, you're going to make it a lot easier for your audience, your prospects and customers to get in touch with you. So if you have a Facebook business page and a Instagram business account, go ahead and connect those here. Now, if you currently do not have a Facebook business page or a Instagram business account for your business, then what I'll do is link to easy to follow tutorials down below to help you set up both these accounts. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate back. Okay, so as you can see between the normal WhatsApp and business WhatsApp, we have access to business information. Now, if we navigate up and click back again, we have catalog. If we click on catalog, this is where you can add new items. Now think about the items as the products or services that your business sells. Simply go ahead and click add new item to add a product or service that you sell. All you need to do is add images of that product or service, then add the item name, as well as the price and description if you like. Then if you click on add more fields, you can also add a link that goes back to your product page or service page on your website. And then you can add an item code if you like for internal purposes. Okay, so what I'll do is navigate back and then click on this item strategy session that I created earlier. And as you can see, this is an item that I created. This is a service that we offer. And if the contact wants more information, they can simply click the link that takes them to our consulting page on our website where they can also book this consultation. Your contacts can also message the business and they can add this item to their cart. You can also navigate down to this pencil icon and that's going to allow you to edit the item. You can add more photos if you like and you can also obviously customize the information, the details about this item. So I'm going to go ahead and click back and then we can also click the three dots in the top right hand corner and we can forward this item to a contact, we can share this item, and we can also hide and delete this item. So what I'm going to do is navigate back, and then once you've taken the time to add all your items, products, and services, we also have the option to add a new collection to manage all our items. If you click on Add New Collection, this collection for me could be called Website Packages. And within this collection, I could add all my different website packages that I offer to our clients. And then within this collection website packages, I could add all the items, all the website packages that we offer to our clients. Then come down once you've named your collection and click next. And this is where you can add the items to your collection. Now, because I've only got one item and I've already added this item to a collection, I'm going to leave this for now. And as you can see below add new collection, I have a consulting catalog that I created earlier and I added the item strategy session to that catalog. So within that consulting catalog, I have a strategy session, but I could also add other different types of consulting services that we provide. Okay, so now what we wanna do is navigate back to business tools by clicking back. And then under catalog, we have messaging options. The first is greeting message. If we click here, this is where we can customize our greeting message. So for example, if I turn this on, we can automatically send a greeting message to our customers, to our contacts, when they message us the first time or after 14 days of no activity. We can also come down and we can customize the message if we like. So take the time to customize your greeting message. I'm going to navigate back. And then we also have the option to filter who actually receives this automatic greeting message. If we click on recipients, you can choose who receives your greeting message Everyone, everyone not in address book, everyone accept and we can choose and then only send it to. So take the time to customize your greeting message. I'm going to navigate back and then click save and that's going to take me back to my business tools. Now below greeting message we have away message. 
if we click here this is where we have the option to enable the automatic reply when you're away so for example let's enable send away message now when a customer or a potential customer sends you a message but you're not active online then they will receive this away message again similar to the greeting message you can customize the away message and you can change the scheduling at the moment it always sends and then we have recipients again you can customize who this automatic reply is sent to I'm going to go ahead and click save and then below away message we have quick replies if we click here and this is a great feature that whatsapp business offers and allows you to essentially reduce the time friction of creating the same message over and over again what you can do is basically create quick replies or quick reply snippets to quickly send to your customers so to add quick replies simply come down and click this plus icon and for example the shortcut for me could be help and then the reply message down here could be what services are you after okay so this could be a common reply i can also add emojis or images i'm going to go ahead and click save okay so as you can see i now have two quick replies now what i'm going to do is navigate back and before i show you how some of these features work when you're actually chatting with a contact we need to quickly discuss labels if we click on labels below quick replies this is where you can customize your label you can also navigate down and add new labels this allows you to essentially better manage your audience your prospects and customers like i showed you at the start i added one contact as a new customer and as you can see i have one item one new customer okay so now i'm going to navigate back and then if we click back again simply navigate over to chats and if i click on this individual which is actually me this is just a test account I can come down and click on the message. I can go ahead and click this paperclip icon. Now, if you're using iOS, you'll just see a plus icon. If we click here, you'll notice two things that are different from the normal WhatsApp application versus WhatsApp business. Within WhatsApp business, we have access to catalogs as well as quick replies. So if I click on quick replies, I can go ahead and select one of these quick replies. Let's say, for example, I wanted to click thanks. And then before I send that quick reply, I can also customize it if I like. Now I can also click on this paperclip icon again, or the plus icon, and then come down and click on catalog. And this is where we have the option to send our catalogs and items. So for example, if I wanted to send this item, I would click on it and then click send. And that's going to send my items, products, or services to this contact for them to view. Now with the quick reply, I can also click down here and click forward slash. And that's going to generate my quick replies. And just like that, guys, I've shared everything you need to know to make the most of WhatsApp business in 2022. And there we have it guys, that is it for this WhatsApp business tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.